In this video, I will show how to write velocity triangle very easily. Here I am considering symmetrical blade. That is a moving blade. The fluid coming from the nozzle or a fixed blade, which is having a velocity of V1. That is the absolute velocity. Once it is hitting to the moving blade, its velocity changes to the Vr1. That is called relative velocity with respect to the blade at the inlet vf1 is the axial velocity at the inlet we have another two horizontal velocity component that is vu1 and u1 how to write that one you just remember the vru this is for only for remembering v stand for the absolute velocity r stand for the relative velocity u stand for the tangential velocity component <coughs> here absolute velocity v1 or relative velocity that is vr1 that distance will give v1 to the vr1 u1 see always horizontal velocity component start from the absolute velocity component it may be at the inlet or it may be outlet here Absolute velocity is the V1 to the VR1 that is the U1 we have another velocity component V U1 that is the horizontal velocity component with respect to the absolute velocity V1 V1 to VF1 their distance is called V U1 this is for the inlet at the outlet that fluid which is hitting that coming from the moving blade it is having a velocity of V R2 at the outlet once it is coming out of the blade it is having velocity V U2 V F2 is the axial velocity at the outlet again at the outlet also you are having two horizontal components V U2 and U2 just remember this one V R U absolute velocity the V2 relative velocity is the V R2 that distance will give U2 V V2 to V F2 V V2 V U2 here I will write supplied three inlet and outlet velocity triangles just remember the right angle triangle the absolute velocity the first velocity component is always v1 that's coming from the nozzle or a fixed blade the second velocity component is v r1 vf1 is the axial component at the inlet same thing for the writing the horizontal velocity component you just remember this are only remembering purpose v1 to v r1 here here is the v1 this is the v r1 the distance will give v1 u1 v1 to vf1 the distance will give v u1 this is for the inlet now we'll write the outlet same thing just remember the right angle triangle the first velocity component that's coming from the blade it will be having v r2 once it's coming from the blade at the outlet its velocity changes to the v2 and the axial velocity component at the outlet vf2 same thing for writing the horizontal velocity component just remember the vru here the absolute velocity is here v2 to vr2 this distance will give u2 v2 to vf2 this distance will give vu2 for the inlet and outlet it will be having four angles for the inlet alpha 1 beta 1 for the outlet alpha 2 beta 2 how to remember this one you just write the word blade the first letter first is the b the b stand for the blade and also b stand for the beta beta 1 and beta 2 angle for the blade at the inlet at the outlet 
for the beta 1 that is the blade the first letter b beta 1 stand for the blade for the inlet it will be beta 1 wait write that one the vr1 and vr2 the velocity component with respect to the blades only here the vr1 beta 1 here is a vr2 beta 2 and v1 and v2 this velocity component belongs to the it, it may be a fixed blade or it may be a nozzle for the inlet it will be having alpha 1 and the outlet it will be having alpha 2 these two inlet and outlet velocity triangle for the vu1 greater than vu2 i will write for the same velocity triangle <coughs> for the case of this is for the case of vu1 and vu2 now i will write velocity triangle for the case which is having u is greater than vu1 for the inlet 